Ahoy, fellows. I guess I was already down here. Oh, jeez. We're feeding today, fellas. <laughs> um. Yeah. Oh. Great. Shriek. Well. Step lightly. Mm. <laughs> Dang it, Ori. Run, run. Jeez, okay. Here we go. Yep, 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 yep. The name of the game, not being seen. Very important. Because this thing, unlike most owls, has apparently not great sense of smell. That, or I, as a being of light, don't emit a scent. Yep. Okay. Nope. You can't catch me. No siree. Oh, jeez. Okay. Um, any idea where I'm supposed to go next? Yep. Works for me. Alright. I'm sure glad this thing is unable to see into the foreground. That would be so inconvenient. Okay, dang it. I didn't expect him to be able to... Oh, dang it. Not cool. He broke the thing I was hiding behind. I'm all the way back here? Really? Okay. Alright. Well... It won't be difficult to get back where we were. Hmm? Sheesh. Pay attention to something else, why don't you? It will never catch me, alright? Shriek will never, ever, never catch me. It's just not happening. Um, let's see, what can I talk about today? Nope. Never, ever, never, like I said. <laughs> yeah. Well. I think we're kindly sand trapped for now, but. Hey, that's alright. Hmm. Oh, you know what? I forgot to unplug my computer so that it doesn't make so much noise which yes oh hey the ancestral home of the Gorlex isn't that nice wow aren't we like just in a forest well I guess it was a dying forest so it kind of makes maybe a little bit of sense that this is a desert maybe maybe ooh that looks interesting Hey, yeah. Do that again. I dare you. Do it again. I dare you. Please. I want you. I mean, I want you to do it again. That is. Okay. This is no longer cool. Seriously, like, let me bounce off him. Do I have to just, like, expect... It's not working. Wonderful. Alright. Never mind. Let me get over him. Alright. Ooh, boy. Fun. Fun stuff. I really might want to heal up a little bit here. Oh, yeah. So... I, I really do wish I could say there was not much going on, but it's it's the kind of stuff that I would rather not talk about because I don't like upsetting people, I guess. Um, and that's kind of all that's really going on. But uh, just as far as things that people get upset about go, uh, it, it, it's kind of upsetting sometimes when you know people and you find out they don't know anything. 
Um, and I guess that's more a testament to how much time I have, I can afford to spend doing nothing in a given day. Well, like other people with maybe more important jobs don't don't have, but uh, I don't know. I, I've spent my life being told you can't get worked up over things, even if, like, just don't get worked up over, like, anything, basically. It's just not something you're allowed to do. And now we have something, admittedly, that upsets people going on, but it's, you know, people jump real quick to uh, go commit acts of violence, you know, and that's just kind of upsetting when it's people you know, but whatever. Um, I get it, I guess. I get why it's come to that and why it's become acceptable, but it's still upsetting again when it's people you know. But hey, people people I know upset and are disappointing me is, again, nothing new at all. There's nothing new under the sun when it comes to me being disappointed, but eh, it doesn't stop me from being disappointed when it happens. Is this a signpost? Cool, it doesn't say anything important. Alright. I wonder if I ever get a triple jump. I think that's a shard, actually. Um, triple jump. I don't think that counts as a spoiler. Let's say that it doesn't, just because. Ooh, that was a shard. Interesting. Mm -hmm. But, yeah. Let's just go with... I understand... Um... People being upset. That's fine. But I, I think that a lot of things currently stem from a misunderstanding of a, a great number of processes that take place and can take place. And it's. I mean, I. I guess that really is it. If if you understand, well, I'm not going to say that. It's not a it's not a question of whether or not someone understands the process so much as if 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 um, what was I about to say? I don't I don't mean it in any like any like oh you're dumb kind of sense. Some. Sometimes you just don't understand certain things, you know? I don't know. I don't understand how people work, for one. So that's me. That's my thing that I don't understand. But a lot of... Uh, I, I find that... Processes... The way things take place are kind of wacky. It's not entirely foreign, but just... It, I don't know doesn't seem to take hold in some cases. So, I really have nothing else to talk about but this. I, the thought crossed my mind that if, if someone were to understand the way the process worked, they wouldn't be as upset about it. Because there's not... It, on an instance standpoint, I can understand being upset, but from a process standpoint, there's not really much to be upset about. And, I mean, I, again, I get it, but just going through how it came to be, it's not the kind of thing that makes sense to get, like, up in arms about. Especially not to the point of, like, again, the, the type of writing that we've seen and I, I'm at a point of just expecting and accepting it at this point. I don't like it, and I would hope that most people wouldn't like it, but um, that's, that's not up to me. I haven't had to deal with it personally at the very least, so I can be glad about that. But Wow, the Gorlek Miner. That's great. Don't, no, do not worry, I escaped the corruption of it. 
the foul mini of my kin, but there is one problem. You don't happen to have any water, do you? In my canteen, but the fall. Now I'm thirsty. Oh. You know, I might. I don't think I do. No, I just have a pouch. I have herbs, but no canteen. You know, if I come across anyone with a canteen, though, I know where to find you. But, yeah. That's, um... It's kind of my long and short about it. I mean, I, I'm not going to talk about it in detail, and I'm not going to get into the nitty-gritty of what I think, specifically. You can probably tell just by the way I'm talking about it, what I think. Um, honestly, what uh, if you're the type to get very mad, then the assumption you're making may actually be wrong. That's all I can say, but... Hey, I can burrow through sand! Isn't that cool, yeah? I can do things like that. This is what I meant by coming here for movement. And I'm gonna talk to Lupo and get a map. I did not know he was here, so it's a good thing I came back, because... I need more spirit light. Wonderful. Okay, well, let's go kill things then. Let's see if I can get all the spirit light here. Uh, yeah, if anybody wants to ask me in the comments section what I think about it, I might actually extrapolate. Um, or... Yeah, I guess extrapolate is kind of... Or expound. Um, explain is probably a much better <laughs> way of saying it. Wow, spirit trial. Let's go. I'm not going to be doing that today, but hey, it's here. Well, actually, I don't even know where the pedestal is. I might do it, but it's, again, probably not going to be today. Whatever. Now I can do things like this, yeah? Yep, and I can burrow through sandworms. Dude, now I can make a Dune reference! I didn't know they were literally called sandworms. Dude, I can make a reference to the freaking... The, 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 the... Shai Halud. Very cool. God, I love Dune. I've been reading Children of Dune, actually. It's a very good, uh, book. Very nice. This is kind of the, uh... Not the... Not the impetus, but one of the things that makes me think about stuff like natural laws and things like that. Like, um... God, Dune gets really into um, prescient thought and um, not time travel so much as just being able to see the future. And I, I find it very interesting the way that you... Time, time is a thing that you don't think about too much. And then when you get into the nitty-gritty of how it could work and how it probably doesn't work the way you want it to, it gets to be very interesting. Just on the basis of, like, well, why should you be able to control what kind of time you're looking into? The way, the way it works in the, the universe of Dune is basically... Uh, something along the lines of current. You can open yourself up to pressure, uh, to, a, to a, a kind of experience, but you have no real control over what you see. And there isn't, from my understanding of the way it was explained, there isn't actually any guarantee that what you see is what actually occurs. So that's, it, it's very interesting. And it, it, it's the kind of thing that, like, it, it makes sense in a weird way that, like, well, of course you wouldn't be able to just abuse it. You know? Like, you you would think that being able to tell the, tell the, see the future is good for quite a, a simple and overpowered ability, but, I mean, which future, you know? And... I think I already kind of went on about, like, it's completely useless depending on which future, because if you see the future that occurs when you haven't seen the future, then it 
it's simply something that absolutely won't happen. I suppose there's still the possibility of it occurring, whatever you see inside of a vision of a future in which you haven't seen the future, but I've, it's at the very least much less likely, and at that point it's kind of a uh, more cautionary tale, and then even worse if you don't know that it's the future in which you haven't seen the future, because then you end up, I don't know, doing unnecessary things. But then again, I guess that's also, there's no benefit to knowing a future that is absolute. The whole point of, of knowing, the whole point of prescience, prescient thought, future sight, would be in being able to defy it in some way. But, I mean, th there's no reason to think that time would work in such a way, in such a convenient manner. Um, so I don't know. It just seems like the kind of thing that people think would be very interesting, but then would somehow, like most things, end up being too complicated to actually be useful. I mean, maybe not so much too complicated as just not actually useful in practice. Because it, it's, it's even a trope at this point that uh, the idea of, like, you see a bad future and then and all of the things that you do to try and avoid it are what causes the negative outcome. I think about things like that a lot. And it, it, it's honestly interesting that doesn't really happen in the game. But you do have negative outcomes, and you have the ability to see negative outcomes. And it, it, it seems as though they, those that can see the future can see multiple futures, multiple possibilities, which se it, it, it seems like that would be the case. Why wouldn't that be the case that you could see multiple futures if you're able to see any? Um, but I guess that would, that would rely on, again, the probabilities and things like that. Dear God, I gotta get out of here. Here's what we do, right? <laughs> now I fight them again. Yep. Okay, pal. Go to sleep. Yep. But yeah... There are a lot of things in Dune that are probably not as um, interesting as the, the time, the, the time scene stuff. Okay, that wasn't as cool. Here's what we do, right? Um, now that I oh, it's these things again. Never mind. Oh, jeez, why did it do that? Very cool. Yep. Huzzah, huzzah. Well, you know, in the essence of exploration, I might want to do the spirit trial right now. Well, whatever, let's do it, just because it's here, and I came all the way back here, and there's nothing else to do right here. Why the heck not? And I'm going to keep talking about the way that prescient thought works in Dune, and hopefully I'm not going to get yelled at in the comments section. Um... Because, I mean, honestly, I'm just talking about the way prescient thought works in Dune. Why would I get yelled at? It's not like I've said anything odd or controversial in this fun episode of Ori and the Will of the Wisps. Nothing has occurred that would give anyone any reason to be mad at me. That's just not the case. Watch, I've gone the wrong direction already. No, I haven't, actually. I've gone the wrong direction. Dang it. Yeah, that makes sense. Okay. Cool. Very cool. Very cool. I'm an idiot. We already knew this, but I am an idiot. It's not like this would be difficult to do again, but yeah, now that I know the correct path, 
It's not like they literally showed it to me right when I started. God, okay. Second time's the charm. That's the old saying, absolutely. God, that hurt. Okay, fun. Let me up, dear God! That's blasphemy, isn't it? Okay, I don't attempt to say the words in vain, but sometimes it just slips out. Here's what we're gonna do. Just slip past him, right? See? Cool. I win! By nature of just being marginally better. Sort of. Anyways, that's gonna be all for today. Me being marginally better than a computer. It's kind of the way it goes, huh? And on the next episode, we're gonna fill out more of this. It's it's gonna happen. Be ready for it. Um, we're probably gonna do interesting things. Find the wisp beneath shifting sands within the next two or three episodes. I would say hopefully the next one, but I forget if there's an entire internal area here. There definitely is, but I'm just going to say for now, I forget if there is or not. Till next time, though, like, comment, and subscribe, or I will um, bury you alive in sand. Goodbye! Yeah, I hope that one. I thought it was pretty funny.